Exercise 5.5. In this exercise, we consider a steel pipeline of 1 meter diameter and a wall thickness of 40 millimeters. This pipe is heavily insulated on the outside and it has an initial temperature of negative 20 Celsius. Then a hot oil at 60 Celsius is pumped through the pipe with a given convection coefficient. We need to find out what are the values of the BO number and the Fourier number after eight minutes after the initiation of the flow. We also need to find out what is the temperature in the exterior of the pipe at that particular time. We also need to find out what is the heat flux to the pipe from the oil at time equal to eight minutes. And at the end, we need to calculate how much energy per meter of the pipe length has been transferred from the oil into the uh, pipe. This is an unsteady conduction problem. We are going to approximate the pipe to be uh, represented as a wall since the size of the diameter is a lot larger than the thickness of the wall of the pipe. We're going to use constant properties. We're going to neglect uh, radiation and heat generation. The first step in the analysis is to calculate the two non-dimensional numbers. The beard number is defined as H, L, and K. Notice that we use L to be the characteristic length because we're using a plane wall. If we use the values given in this problem, the value of the beard number is 3.13. Now we calculate the value of the Fourier number, which is given as alpha time length square and we calculate this value of the Fourier number at eight minutes and for the values in this case is going to give us 5.64 uh, since the value of the PO number is greater than 0.1 we are not allowed to use LCM therefore we have to use the analytical solution However, since the Fourier number is greater than 0.2, we could use the approximation in which we could only use the first term of the summation. The first step is to find out what is the value of theta star zero. And this is going to be equal to C1 EXP minus psi one square times the Fourier number. If we use the value in tables 5.1, we could find that the value of C1 is equal to 1.047, and the value for Psi1, Theta1, is equal to 0.531. Therefore, we could find that the value of Theta0 star is equal to 0.214. Please remember that the value of zero for our plane indicates where the location of the insulation takes place. If we define now the value of this to be equal to T zero minus T infinity divided by T i minus T infinity, we could find that, that the value of T zero is equal to 42.9. Celsius. The next step is to calculate the amount of heat flux to the pipe from the oil at time equal 8 minutes. So we simply write the heat uh, flux equation. So we identify it at L and the time given. And then we simply define this as H, the temperature at L at the particular time, minus T infinity. What we need to find out now is the value of T, L at that particular time. For us to be able to do that, we're going to find uh, theta um, star, which is going to be equal to theta star at the insulated phase times cosine of theta 1 times x star. In this particular case, the value of x star is equal to 1. Since the value of x is equal to L, L divided by L give you 1. 
remember that the value of uh, theta star is equal to t l t minus t infinity divided by t l i'm sorry t initial minus t infinity and at this moment we know all these values and we could calculate the value of theta star and we could find that the value of t l at the particular t is going to be equal to 45.2 celsius now if we compare this value with the value that is along the insulated notice that the value that is at the external phase is higher and because it's closer to the fluid that has a higher temperature now if we use this temperature we could find out that the amount of flux at that position at that given time is equal to negative 7400 watts per meter square the next step is to find out how much energy per meter of the pipe length has been transferred from the oil to the pipe at the given time. So we start with the relationships given in your textbook at 547 and 549, in which we have that Q divided by Q0 is equal to 1 minus sine of zeta 1 divided by zeta 1 times theta star zero. We have the value of this constant all from the previous um, uh, parts of the problem and we find them to be equal to 0.8. Therefore, we could find that the value of Q divided by Q zero is equal to 0.8. At the same time, we know that Q zero is going to be equal to rho CV times the initial temperature minus uh, T infinity. And we know that the amount of the volume that we're going to have is going to be pi T L. So we could say that Q is equal to 0.8 rho C pi T L T I minus T infinity. And since we're looking for Q as a function of L, we said QL over L is equal to 0.8 rho C pi D Ti minus T infinity. And for this particular problem, this value becomes negative 2.73 times 10 to the 7 joules per meter. Notice that the negative value indicates that the heat goes from the oil to the pipe. Please go back and review this problem and make sure that you are able to complete each one of the steps successfully.